Okay, so here it is, the uh, Sprint Evo 4G. Um, as you can see, it's got apps, whatever that means. I guess it just means it's got the App Store, it's got Quick, uh, Google Maps, Google Earth, Pandora Radio. Cool little box. Um, uh, and um, that's about it. I, I, it looks a lot like a, a little, um, uh, what do you call it, a cup of, cup of noodles, is it? I, I, it it's kind of that style of uh, cardboard. and uh, right, uh, it's, it's definitely uh, not quite the quality of, uh, of the iPhone. Uh, it's a lot bigger, for sure. So we're going to open it here. And just slides out to open it. And um, you just pull this off. And there's the unit right there. Now the one thing I immediately notice, and uh, I'll admit I've 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 opened this uh, just once before to, to take a look. Um, is it's really hard to pull out. So that, I mean, it's definitely not the Apple experience where they make it really easy to unbox and open, and they they make that part of the experience. Uh, not that that matters. Uh, it's the functionality of the phone. I, I mean, really, you almost have to turn it upside down to, to pull it out like that. Uh, if you really slide your finger under, you can uh, you can get it out. So here's the phone right here. Um, can see it size of my hand like that it really is it's a big phone um, I hold it up to your ear it reminds me of the old uh, ancient cell phones from back in uh, the 90s um, uh, definitely not one of those uh, it's got a lot of great functionality it has this cool little uh, little stand right here Make it so you can uh, hold it up. That's kind of cool. Um, you can see I'm I'm recording this with my iPhone, obviously. Um, but uh, it is a a nice big phone. Uh, I guess if you like big phones, uh, it works well for you. Um, so let's turn it on. Okay. Um, and when I, I I've actually turned I turned this on once and uh, and it gave me a nice little welcome demo so uh, we are missing out on that um, beyond that uh, we've got uh, I think I just I guess I slide that down yeah okay uh, using the on screen keyboard it says um, and. Um, Let's see, it says, learn how to quickly and accurately enter text. Don't worry about pressing the right key every time. Just get close and let the software do the rest. So, um, so I guess uh, type this in here. Tap here to start. Okay, there we go. Uh, learn how autocorrection works. Type the word simple. So we'll type S, whoops, I. E L E and it's already selected the word for me. So select that. Hit the space key and it selects simple. It it gives me um touch feedback. I hear a little buzz every time I type. I don't know if I like that. I I I, I can see that getting annoying. Okay, learn how to quickly interact with characters and symbols. So press and hold the A key. Drag the A to select it. Which one are we trying to hit? I guess it's that one. I don't know what I'm trying to I'm trying to push. Okay, I'm going over there. There we go. Okay. Press and hold the F key. That's kind of cool. Dollar. Um, tap and hold gives you quick access to second layer symbols. Okay, we'll hit next. 
uh, type the word magic, M-A-G-I-C, okay, type the word innovation, So autocorrect is actually pretty decent on this. I'm readjusting here. Um, creative. As you can see, I, I get almost every word wrong, but it, it guesses it pretty well for me. So that's one thing I don't like on the iPhone is that uh, the autocorrect is it kind of adapts as you go. This this actually gets it pretty well. That's that's impressive. Um, okay, Google's location service provides applications with your approximate location without using GPS. You can disable these features and settings under location and privacy. Allow Google's location service to collect and analyze the location data. Collection will occur when no applications are running. Use my location for Google searches and other services. I, I'll leave those checked. Um, set up accounts. Uh, you can... Ottoman. Here we got JJ here. He's uh, he's helping me out. Do you like the phone? I think Daddy's got a new phone. Can phone? Yeah. He's fascinated with these devices. Okay, so set up accounts. You can automatically sync mail, contacts, and calendar events by setting up one or more of the following account types. Google account, Microsoft. Exchange. We're, we're going to skip this for now. Now this is really cool. Um, I didn't know this about uh -oh. Android devices. Um, this is one thing I'm really trying to learn more about uh, with this phone. Uh, is you can associate f uh, social networks with it. So if I select Facebook here, I can enter my Facebook ID, which um, I'm gonna point off that way while I do. And I'm entering it in gradually. What you doing? Okay. It's getting used to this keyboard. JJ's laying on my arm as I do this. Um, uh, the keyboard uh, does have a lot of the same feel as the uh, iPhone keyboard. A uh, few things in slightly different locations, but um, overall not, not too bad. I'll let, let you watch JJ play with the box here. There we go. And the cool thing um, about this is it actually lets you show the password if you want. I'm not going to check that, but uh, um, I don't think I can do that with the iPhone, uh, which is kind of a pain with the iPhone. So I'm going to click uh, sign in here. Okay, so we've associated a Facebook account. Uh, we'll associate a Flickr account. It would be nice if they used just Facebook Connect for that because I know Flickr supports it. Okay, I'll look around, look away, watch JJ here. Uh, let's see, what is my Flickr account? Ooh, just got this while I was doing it. That's not good. Okay, so we'll force close. I'm not sure what that does, what that is. Okay. Hey phone. Can you say Evo? Yeah. Evo. Yeah, that's the Evo, JJ. Daddy's holding the iPhone. Yeah. Okay. Okay.
Okay, so we're getting our Flickr account. JJ likes the box. Show it, show me. Peekaboo, is that what you're saying? Okay, so, uh, and Twitter. Um, Baker. Obviously, I am Jesse. No, I'm not Jesse Stay. That is one of my accounts, but. Okay, watch JJ. Okay, I need to watch the cell security. Signing in. You entered an incorrect password. Okay, I guess I'm going to have to use the show password feature here. And that's why. Okay, so we got Twitter set up. Now we can move on. Next. And it's loading. Uh -oh. There we go. So push. Press the home button or pinch and zoom out to thumbnail view. What is the home button? Okay. Ah, okay, so I push that and it takes me there. It keeps giving me this process has stopped unexpectedly. That doesn't, that's not good. Okay, so I pushed it. I have no clue what this is. Um... So do I push home again? Okay. Ah, I see. Okay, so that gives me... I guess this is like expose on the Mac. That's not bad. Kind of cool. It shows me all the running things. You can look at our friend's stream here. Looks like we got full bars here, that's good. I've got that on my iPhone too, so it's not that big a deal. I mean, the, the icons are kind of not that good. They don't show off the screen of this thing very well, but uh, it is, it's a pretty phone. It's big. I don't know if I really like the size, but, um, but uh, overall, I, I mean, the iPhone, I had to reboot once uh, when I opened it. Um, this one seemed to work pretty well. Had those little crash messages, but that didn't affect the functionality at all. Um, obviously, I'm holding it in my left hand, not seeing any degradation in signal. That's that's good. Um, didn't have to hook it up to my computer to, to get it to connect. Uh, also good, although I think that's still necessary if I'm going to port my phone number over But um, on the iPhone. But overall, it um, looks like a pretty decent device and uh be fun to play with over the next little bit and that was the uh htc evo 4g unboxing i'm jesse stay this is stainalive.com <laughs>